So there are two ways to share a Canvas course shell um, from your list of courses. One of them is to export the course as a file to your computer and then import it into another Canvas shell. Um, and I have a separate video for that, which is linked in the comments. In this case, I'm going to show you how to share a course to Commons. Um, so Canvas Commons is an area where you can go and access any courses from any um, organization or college or university that have been shared by fellow faculty um, or peers. Um, and so I'm going to give you an example of a course that is completed. Um, it'll be the same process regardless of whether your course is completed. So this is where people often look. Um, when you click on your course and come here to your home page, people often look over here and expect to find it there, but it is not in fact there. You have to scroll down to your settings. Um, and when you get into your settings, you will find a button here on the top right that says share to comments. You may have other buttons here, um, but share to comments is the one that you're looking for. This is export course content, which I mentioned a second ago, and that will actually give you a file that you can download to your computer that will open up um, and have all of the information for your course in it. You won't be able to open it on your computer itself because it's a file that only Canvas can read. So you'd have to re um, import it back into Canvas and open it through a Canvas course. Um, so share to Commons is what we're going to do today. And there's a couple of updates here, or a couple of options, sorry. So if you've already shared a course and you've updated it recently, maybe you have new videos or new modules or you've changed something, then you can click um, yes here, toggle that, and then it's going to show you all of your courses that you've previously shared um, and allow you to go back and simply make changes or it'll upload only what is different. Um, in this case, I'm going to say no. Um, and then you can choose here who can use the resource. So if you want to upload it to Canvas Commons so that you can use it, maybe from a different computer, a different school, maybe you teach for two different schools and you want to use it in two different places, um, then you can select only me and you will in fact be the only person on Commons who will be able to use it. In this case, I want to have everyone in my um, agency be able to use it. So all of College of the Sequoias. So that would be anyone who has access to Canvas through the organization where I work would be able to access and use this and see this in Canvas. If you choose public, it's gonna let anyone anywhere access it. So um, if you choose public, then anyone who has access to Canvas will be able to use it. Um, content type, template or open textbook. Um, most of the time for me, I always use template. Um, if you're sharing an actual book that you have um, written or created or an OER or something like that, that's when you would choose open textbook. Um, so other people would be able to access the textbook through Canvas. But in this case, it's the template for a course. Um, license here, there's a variety of different options. If you're not familiar with these, they are explained in kind of a variety of places on the internet. Um, Help me choose, we'll give you some more details about what each of them means. Um, most of the time for me, I do CC uh, attribution share alike. So um, this means that the Canvas course is gonna be linked back to you. It will tell people that the course originally came from you. And it also requires the next instructor to keep the same type of settings you have. So for example, um, if someone copies my course in Canvas, they can't suddenly say that it is um, CC attribution or non-commercial or no derivatives, et cetera. They have to share it the same way that I've shared it and make it available, okay? so. Um, they can't really modify things or change things or make certain things copyrighted that I didn't have copyrighted, et cetera. If it's coming from me, I want other people to be able to use it. And so um, I'm choosing share alike. So there's a lot of different ones. The further up you go, um, kind of the different type of or less or more um, copyright uh, laws it will have on it. So depending on what you choose, this logo will be um, at the bottom. And then when they click on it, it'll tell them where it came from. Um, if you want additional information, you can click there. It's most of the time not necessary. Um, whatever you want your course to be titled in Commons, you would type here. So like in this case, for example, I don't really need the CRN on it. I just want people to know what class it is. Um, so I can leave that. You have to type a description that's required. So you can choose something. Um, history of children, families, and society. Um, and then you have to upload a course image. You can get this from the internet. Um, you could copy and paste something. You, it, it doesn't matter really what the image is. Um, as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of standard images that they will allow you to choose from. So it, it doesn't matter too much what the image looks like unless you had, if you wanted to do your school logo or something like that. Um, and then you specify the grade level. So 
the purpose of this, for example, is if someone's going into Canvas Commons and they're a fifth grade teacher and they want to see what people have shared, what other fifth grade teachers have shared that might be useful, this is going to help as they search. So you really want to specify what level it's used for, um, more so for when people search for it so that they're able to kind of differentiate between what is, is useful for them or not. Um, and then you click share and it's going to tell you that it's been uploaded to Canvas Commons um, or give you a progress bar that tells you um, how long it's going to take to upload. And so then to use Canvas Commons itself, you simply come over here to Commons. Um, if you wanted to get a class, for example, that someone else had shared, um, you can come to Commons and this is what everyone will see. If I type my name, um, then all of the courses that I've shared will automatically come up and populate. Okay, so if you know the name of the person who shared it or the name of the class or the name of the university, um, then you can find it pretty easily and pretty quickly with a search. And then to use it, you simply click on the course. Um, and then you would click on import download here on the right hand side. And it's going to show you everything that's in the course and that's going to download it all for you. Um, and it'll give you an option either to do it to your computer or import it into one of your Canvas shells. And then um, it's going to let you know which class. So you can check the box or, or click the dial for which class you want to import it into. And it's going to automatically copy everything over. Um, you can make changes, of course, once it's been copied. So you, you can add different things or take things away. It's not stuck like this forever. It just gives you a starting point um, and we'll pull over everything that you see here. So I hope this is helpful. If you have questions, feel free anytime to let me know. Good luck.